This is what is known as a full English breakfast, or full English for short. It is usually eaten at weekends when people have the time to cook and enjoy it. This is what I have every Sunday. As you can see, it consists of two eggs. Traditionally they are fried, but some people prefer the healthier option of poached or scrambled. Two sausages, beef or pork, two rations of bacon, I prefer unsmoked back bacon, others prefer smoked or streaky bacon, a tomato and some baked beans. Back before healthier eating became fashionable, there would also be a fried slice. A fried slice is a thick slice of white bread, fried in fat so that it is crispy on the outside both sides being golden brown and soft in the middle. The full English breakfast is also known as a fry-up. The term goes back to the days when everything was fried in fat. These days of healthy eating, everything is grilled, except for the eggs, of course. As with all things culinary, there can be variations. Some people would add mushrooms. Personally, I think that's a waste of a good mushroom. And in the north of the country, they will add some black pudding, but we won't go there. There is, of course, the usual porridge, or cereal, or toast and marmalade. Other breakfasts might include kippers, which have been out of favour for some time, but I like them. A kipper is a whole herring that has been sliced in half from head to tail, gutted, salted or pickled, then smoked. Traditionally, they would have been eaten with scrambled eggs. Here, I am using kipper fillets. Or you could have boiled eggs with toasted soldiers. Toast is cut into slices which resemble soldiers on parade. They can then be dipped into a soft boiled egg that has the, had the top cut off. There are also poached eggs on toast and scrambled eggs on toast. Any of the above can also be eaten as a light lunch or supper. 33 million eggs are consumed in Britain every day. That includes eggs for cooking, baking, etc.